Hey Racers Games here and welcome back to part 7 of Undertale. Today I'm joined by the Great Papyrus. Say hello. Nyeh <laughs> heh yeah, heh. Yeah, indeed. It's episode 6. Oh, episode 6. Sorry, I got confused. Anyway, today I'm back with more Undertale. And um, yeah, today we're gonna, we're gonna talk to the people in this room and then we're gonna head back to Snowden because Papyrus said that he did want me to come over and hang out sometime. So we're gonna see if we can do that. Let's, uh, let's talk to the monster kid first. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here, haha. <laughs> uh, alright, I guess I won't. What this guy? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Okay. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Alright. Uh, I think we already saved there. Let's talk to Sans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Um, yeah, let's go to Grillby's. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Wait, Grillby's is in the opposite direction, though. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Ah. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, should we get fries or a burger? Uh, what do you think we should get, fries or a burger? Um, fries. Alright, let's get fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of fries. Did he just go through the door? I think so. So, what do you think? I'm my brother. He's totally cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> Ooh, those look like good fries. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah, I'll have ketchup. Bon appetit. Ah, I get it. Bon appetit. Like honestly, I will not eat fries without ketchup. Fry ketchup is the best. You tip the ketchup. Cat balls off and all the ketchup on the bottle pours onto your food. Perfect! Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, um, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Um, I... I don't want to lie to Sans, I have. So you know all about it the Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Uh, yeah, just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. 
Vincent, pay your tab. <laughs> By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Of course he forgets. Um, alright. So Let's that talk flower, to people. He, that flower that, that he was talking to, that, that Papyrus has been talking to, do you think it was one of the Echo Flowers, or do you think he meant Flowey? I think Papyrus was talking about Flowey, but uh, Sans thought it was... Yeah, I think that's um, it. Like Echo Flower. I think that's it. All right, let's um, let's head out of here. Uh, let's go hang out with Papyrus. He said he wanted to hang out, so uh, let's do it. Sounds like a good time. Oh, here's Papyrus. So you came back to see me? I did. You must be really serious about this. Um, about. I'll have to take you someplace really special. Oh. A place that I like to spend a lot of my time. Oh. Cool. Oh. We're going back in the opposite direction. My house! <laughs> oh, Papyrus is so silly. Let's come in here. Wow, everybody's going through the door now. This is a neat house. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> oh. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Oh, neat. What's this thing? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Right. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program. Uh, quote, Metaton. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. The TV just looks like it's broken. This is some pretty catchy music. Metaton's themes are, like, super catchy. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Uh, yeah. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Alright. What's in here? Oh, fires is running over. <laughs> Wait, it made a weird noise. Anyway. Um. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. Baking? It was like a quiche, mm. but filled with sugary non-egg substance. Mm. How absurd! Hmm. Wonder what that could have been. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. Will do. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Oh yes, very much. Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> That's a counter. What's here? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Oh. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. What? <laughs> Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Oh, uh, that's funny. What happens if I go back here now? Forget it. <laughs> Alright. 
What about up here? A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Well, that's cool. There's some, like, weird light under the door. It looks kind of like a fire. The door is locked. That must be Sansa's room. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. Uh, sure, let's go inside. We are very cool friends. What's up? What's this? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. <laughs> Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Oh, yes. Good, good memories. Um, what's on this bookshelf? That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> the ending always gets me. Oh my gosh, I would love to read that book. What's this? Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Santa? Yeah, that's right. Santa! <laughs> What's this? Isn't that flag neat all? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. That it's a pirate ship flag? Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Yes, that's definitely what I was thinking. Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. All right, let's check out this computer right here. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Wait. If he's... 12 digits away from double digits, that means he has negative two followers. Of course, fame has a steep price. The jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. That sounds like Sans. Comic Sans. What's this? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Oh, sure. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Alright. What's this? That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Never doubt yourself, Papyrus. Dreams do can come true. So I think we've looked at everything. Uh, why don't we talk to him now? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Uh, sure. Begin the hangouts? Yes, let's begin the hangouts. Okay, let's hang ten. Hang ten. Yeah. Hangout start. Here we are. Hanging out! I've actually never done this before. <laughs> but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. That's true. I snagged an official handout guidebook from the library. Cool. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for Friendship Hub. Oh. Wowee! I feel so informed! What does all of this mean? I think we're ready for step two. Um, okay. Step two. Ask them to hang out. <clears throat> Human, I, the great Papyrus, will hang out with you. Uh, yes. Really? Wowee! 
I guess that means it's time for part three. Part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Oh, yes. Wait a second. Weak clothing. That bandana around your head. Um. You're wearing clothing right now. I, I am? Yeah, I, I am. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning. Uh, yes. No! You planned it all! You're way better at hanging out than I am. No. No! Your friendship power! Friendship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great Papyrus, have never been beaten at hanging out, and I never will! Has he never been beaten at hanging out because he's never hung out before? Well, he said he never will, and that's all that's important. Don't crush his dreams. I can I easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case someone wants to hang out. Oh, cool. Behold! <laughs> yeah. What do you think of my secret style? It says cool dude on his shirt. I love it. No! A genuine compliment! My friendship rating is through the roof. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Um, so there's something secret in his outfit? But his shoes. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the sh soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. True. What about his glove? Holding my hand, so I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist! <laughs> what about his cool dude shirt? The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, way. all clothing articles can be improved this way. Let's, uh, what about his hat, I guess? My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret! He got me a present? I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you! Just for me. Let's, let's open it. Don't you know what this is? It, is it, is that your brain? Is that his spaghetti. brain? Is that his brain? It's spaghetti. Um, I'm just gonna say, of course. Spaghetti! Oh. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Yes, I did not think that that was your brain at all. Right! But oh so wrong. Oh. Is it his brain? This ain't any old pasta. Oh. So it is spaghetti. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti. Finely aged in an oaken cast. Yes. And cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Oh. Human, it's time to end this. It's giving me some spaghetti? Alright. There's no way this can go any further. Let's eat the spaghetti. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. 
The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extent, me! Maybe even more than I do! Or is he saying that I love him even more than he does? Ah! Uh, uh, no! Oh, my friendship rating's just going up and up and up. Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. <gasps> nah. Yeah, totally. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. Mm. Well, I'm flattered that you care so much. But maybe cool it a little bit? You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends. But I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Alright, no problem. Hmm. Hey, I know the solution! You should hang out with my boss, Undyne! Oh, that'd be fun. I think if you spend your friend energy out more, you'll have more healthy lifestyle. That is, that is true. Hey, let's be friends with Undyne! Yeah! <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now we can call the fires whenever we want. Why don't we uh why don't we call him right now? Ring ring. Wow! It only took you four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus's hot little helpline. Just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room? Have you heard of something called a door? Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. Oh, cool. Um. Oh, whoops. Uh, I'll call Toriel. Dialing. Nobody picked up. Okay. Well, let's call Papyrus. Ring, ring. Hold up. I'm still drawing. Okay. Uh, anyway, guys. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. And please do subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye! Adios!